Do you do uh, do you do any hernia work? Yeah, I got one of those coming too. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Lucky you. Yeah, I know. And Drew, and that's near your junk. Drew, I, oh. look, I, I I will gladly give up the underpants for that. Oh, it was just I the, like I said, the hand surgery, the chest stuff. I really, I I got to give up the underpants for the hand surgery and, and the hand, <clears throat> not down at your side, out, spread out, like just like the man on, on the, the cross. cross. Yeah, just like him. Uh, nope, going to need that. You'll be giving up the underwear big time for the hernia surgery. Yeah, they may oh, be yeah. busting out the Lady Bick. <laughs> you know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, here's my only problem is Drew had the hernia surgery done about a year ago, and, you know, he's kind of a puss. <laughs> he's coming in here complaining for the next two weeks easily, like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, he was really, you know, he's, it, Drew, Drew has, um, Drew, as well as well as being a passionate man, he has a high capacity for drama as well. He has a little drama queen to him. There's a little. There's a little drama to him. You know, he used to sing opera. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So it's this know, whole he, drama. He was in. He was in here, and he's like, "My balls hurt. They'll never heal." And then uh, Chris would jump in the background, heal the balls, <laughs> and. <laughs> The big horns on the helmet, the Viking helmet. But yeah, he he didn't start. He never stopped complaining for weeks, and then was and and then he's thing that uh, also people don't know about Drew. He's a worry wart. Oh yeah. And Drew, Drew will say to me like uh, once a week, I'll go, "Looks like we're gonna have to give up the house." And I'll go, "What what are you talking about?" Well, you know, I mean, the mortgage, this, I got to send the kids. Each time the kids' estimate for college gets more and more, it's now up to like thirty million dollars a child. <laughs> Well, I got three kids, thirty million. It's almost nine. Well, you figure in books, it's a hundred million dollars for the kids to get a decent four-year education. Then you got the ice skating. I mean, we're gonna have to give up the house. And I'm always like, I'll just shut up and go to work with you. You never have to give up anything. You, you do fine. Every, every, you, you're doing fine. Just stop worrying about it all the time. <sighs> we may have to move. And then uh, talked to him two weeks later. I'm like, what? How's the house going? Huh? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna it's, have to move. That sounds like what? him. Yeah, it's like, just relax over there, buddy. God, he's high strung. All right. And, and listen, as, as I've told Drew many times, uh, you, yeah, you could, you could spend, uh, you know, 400 grand uh, a kid in school, or, or you could spend nothing. And you turn out like the ace man. Literally a millionaire. Literally. That's right. Amen, and I, brother. I swear, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my hand to Christ here. If my dad spent more than $500 on me or my sister after the age of 13 combined, I don't think he got to 500 bucks. I, I yeah, really but don't. You're, you're the exception to the rule. Maybe. No one, no one I know, by the way, and 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 it's it's true. Most of my friends are losers, but <laughs> not, no, none of their parents. They never put any money aside for anything. Like, there was no, well, you know, here's a rainy day, or here's for the college, or here's for the braces, or here if the kid takes a spill in the moped. These kids didn't even have, like, doctors and stuff. They they just, they, there was nothing. And they all just, yeah, they got out of high school, they went to work, and they're all doing fine now. You'll be all right. I just keep telling them, they'll be fine. They'll land on their feet. 